whoa, whoa, look who decides the show is base around here. Me, this guy. You, you probably thought I was dead, huh, right? I know, I would have also. I haven't posted on this channel, I don't even know, in three years? October 2020. 2020, holy sh**. We made it through that one. The whole world changed uh, between the last time I posted a video here. I've, I've changed, you've changed. Yeah, I mean, you still look actually pretty fantastic, by the way. I love this new hair thing that you did. That looks great. A anyways, I digress. Uh, a lot has changed around here. The last time you saw me, I was actually still sitting on an old tire in my basement, painting like a fucking crazy person. I'm happy to announce that now I'm standing up in a studio, painting like a fucking crazy person. Which brings me to my current location. Welcome to uh, my studio. Welcome to the new digs. Got out of the basement and finally did something with myself. Been working out of this place for a little bit over a year now. This is where all my dreams uh, and nightmares unfortunately come true. I'll, I'll show you around. This is kind of like the primary like art working area. This is a painting I'm doing right now about this crazy nightmare that I had during COVID. I dreamt that all of these hot air balloons were carrying like coffins. I guess like the government stopped picking up bodies so you had to get rid of them yourself. And so I, I don't know, this is the type of crazy shit that I, that I paint. I've been working with some stencils because I got a cricket machine. Santa brought me a cricket machine for Christmas. So I've been using the shit out of that thing. Then there's this one. I've been working on, on this for probably the last three years. This uh, this one is called, well, just like it says, please don't die in Disney World. That would be like a real shitty thing to happen. You know what I mean? There'd kind of be all these people around and little kids and I don't want to, I don't want to die in front of any fucking little kids. This one I just started. Uh, this one is called the carnival accident. It's about a real life accident that I saw at a carnival and it's probably tormented me and traumatized me in my entire life. So that's kind of the theme. Tragic accidents, crazy fucking nightmares and, and, and you know, life crippling tragic thoughts. Now, if you think all this is awesome, Wait till you see the gallery. Yeah, that's right. This place has its own gallery. And the thing that you're uh, you're gonna notice is that there's nobody else's artwork hung up here except mine. That's right. Nobody nobody else gets to fucking use these walls but me. It's very egotistical. It's very self-serving. Very maniacal. It feels more sometimes like a museum of my own insanity than it does uh, a gallery. A lot of you, to my surprise, have actually made the trek out and visited the gallery uh, from all around the country, which fucking blows my goddamn mind. I didn't know if any of this would, would connect with anybody. But, you know, the more of you that I meet, the more I realize, you know, we're, we're all kind of fucked up a little bit. You know, it's a it's really, it's a lot of uh, uplifting stuff from, uh, you know, there's these black rainbows and cities on fire to... Uh, coffins and funerals and skeletons. Uh, we even have a wheel of death that you can spin. Since you're not here, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll spin it for you. How about that? You choked to death. Alone. Yeah, that's sad. Sorry, that's a pretty fucking... That's a pretty shitty way to go. And once you spin and find out your demise, you come over here and get yourself chalk outlined. All of these are from folks who visited during my last art show I had on Halloween weekend. That was a pretty uh, awesome night. Lots of people in costumes, uh, amazing music. But, but the craziest thing that happened that night, people actually bought my artwork. It was the first time I felt comfortable putting prices on things. And the next thing you know, I'm selling shit. It changed me. The next day I went out, I got business cards with my name on it. I got fucking stickers. I got prints over here. Not purple rain prints, prints, prints. That wasn't funny. But I'm getting serious about this whole thing. I even went to Art Basel down in Miami last month to check things out, just to kind of get a sense of like galleries and artists and it fucking blew my mind down there. There's art everywhere you look, from the walls to the cars to the telephone poles. 
Literally every step you take is covered in art. Got super inspired there. So this year I'm gonna work a little bit harder getting into some galleries, having some shows. This is a whole new world for me. This is all, all this art stuff. And I'm learning day by day. I didn't go to school for this. Uh, I don't know what the f I'm doing. Life throws you some crazy f***ing twists and turns. One minute you're a YouTuber, the next you're an artist. Life is kind of funny that way, I guess. I guess. So, you know, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit has changed since the pandemic and the last time I saw you. I'm still the same, you know what I mean? I'm still a cynical, finger-flipping son of a bitch. Always will be. I don't know whether or not that works in the current climate here, post-2020, but I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna keep on doing me, you know what I mean? Which means getting back, uh, to more Rob Zarsh. Maybe some old classics like having a beer, having a bowl with Rob, uh, man versus Art, man versus YouTube, whatever it is, you're not gonna see any of this over on Threadbanger. That ship, that ship has sailed. Which is why I need you to subscribe if you haven't done that already. Like up this video, uh, comment, all of the shit, because I need to get back into the into the YouTube algorithm. You know, you know what I mean. Also, do me a favor, hit up the description. I've got links to TikTok on there, Instagram, uh, my store where you could buy originals and prints. Oh, did you catch that? I said TikTok. That's right. I'm f***ing over on TikTok now. What is happening? Anyways, you got a lot of homework to do. You got a lot of click in the do. So get to it, and I will see you around here. Uh, hopefully, this time, uh, it'll be uh, a little sooner than three years. All right, I'm getting my shit together, I promise. I'll see you soon.